Hey admins, welcome to this month's edition of What's New for G Suite Admins. Ryan here, and I'm back with the feature updates from November. Let's get started. Here's the headline news from November. We're making Secure LDAP generally available. Secure LDAP lets you manage access to traditional LDAP-based apps and IT infrastructure using the G Suite Identity and Access Management platform. This means you can use a single layer user directory to manage access to both your SaaS apps and traditional LDAP-based apps and IT infrastructure. And your users can use the same login credentials for more apps and services. Virtually any app that supports LDAP over SSL can work with Secure LDAP, whether it's hosted on-premises or in the cloud. We're actively working with many other companies to validate their apps for this use case, including Atlassian, Softera, and Splunk, just to name a few. For more information on how to get started with Secure LDAP, check out our Help Center. And now for our admin updates. Before you perform a search of Gmail messages in Google Vault, you can see the number of results that your search criteria will return. This can help you plan next steps and establish resources for review. Going forward, in addition to the total number of results when searching Gmail messages, you'll also see the number of accounts with matches. This can help you determine the key custodians involved in an investigation. We're also making it possible for admins to programmatically read, create, and delete saved search queries with the Vault Matters API. This will allow you to quickly and easily copy search parameters from one matter to another, saving you valuable time. For more info on how the count feature works, check out the Help Center. We're now making it easier for you to organize and create Android apps for your domain directly from the admin console. To help your users find the apps they need, you can now group whitelisted Android apps into collections that users will see in the managed Google Play Store from the admin console. This feature is only available to customers with advanced mobile device management enabled. We're now making it possible to publish a private Android app directly from the admin console and no longer require the time-consuming steps in the Google Play Console. The app will then appear in the Managed Play Store within minutes, as opposed to the hours that previously required. This feature is only available to customers with advanced mobile device management enabled. Visit the Help Center for more on how to organize Android apps and manage Google Play private apps. When it comes to protecting online accounts, a strong password is the first line of defense. With this launch, we're making it possible to enforce additional rigorous password requirements for increased security and to meet the organization's compliance needs. These settings can be found in the admin console under Security, Password Management. You can already see which passwords in your domain are weak. Enabling this setting will allow you to force users with weak passwords to change them. And you can choose to enforce password length and strength requirements either the next time a user changes their password or the next time they log in. To apply changes immediately, check the box next to Start Password Policy Enforcement at Next Sign-In. If you're unsure about whether you need to do this, we recommend that you leave this setting as never. To prevent password reuse, we recommend you leave the box for Allow Password Reuse Unchecked. This is the default. For more information on advanced password controls, visit the Help Center. With single sign-on or SSO, users can access all of their enterprise cloud applications after signing in just one time. With more than 800 applications with pre-integrated SSO support in our third-party apps catalog already, we're adding an additional 10 applications, including Good Data, Liquid Files, and Version 1, just to name a few. You can find a full list of our pre-integrated applications, as well as instructions for installing them, in the Help Center. Well, that's it for November's updates. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this, save the playlist, and also check out our G Suite release calendar and What's New newsletter to stay informed. This has been Ryan with What's New for G Suite Admins November Edition. Thanks for watching. <laughs>